this lesson is going to focus on the three approach to reading model. Now, students always ask me, what do I do? How can I finish on time? I can ask three different questions within the limited time given. So I'm going to give you three different ways to approach the IELTS reading model. The three different ways are completely different from each other. But the most important thing here is you need to know what the best approach that works for you. The approach that may work for you may not be the one that will work for someone else. And the one that may work for someone else may not be the one that will work for you. So we all have different levels of assimilation. We all have different levels of maybe we read at different pace. So what may work for me may not be what will work for you. But most importantly, use the approach that best work for you. So practice the three approaches and stick with one. If you stick with one that you are comfortable with and your score seems to improve, stick with that one and then practice, practice and improve on that approach. Alright, now the first approach is to read the entire passage and go ahead and answer the question. But one thing here is reading the entire passage then going over to the question, you ask yourself the same question here. Are you a fast reader? Can you be able to retain the information you have read and then answer the question? The good thing about this approach is you have all the information in your head while asking the question. But the bad part of it is that you are still going to read the passage two times. Because once you have read the whole passage, you are still going to go over it again, maybe to read some part of it. So this approach may be suitable for those who are fast reader, who can read and also retain information at that pace. And it may not be suitable for those who read at slow pace and may not also understand information they have read quickly. So you know what works for you. If you're a fast reader, you can read at a fast pace and be able to retain the information at that level and answer the question, then this approach is good for you. Otherwise, if you are a slow reader, then it may not be proper for you. Now, the second approach is for you to go over to the question, read the question, underline the keywords in them, and then go over to the passage and search for those keywords through scanning techniques. Now, when you underline the keyword in the question, remember one thing, a keyword in the question may not appear exactly the way they are in the passage. That means, yeah, you have a good paraphrasing skill to be able to identify them. So when you underline a keyword in the question, and then move over to the passage try in search of this keyword that means in that way you're not going to read all all the whole, the whole passage you're going to read those vital areas where you suspect the keyword might be so that is one good thing about this right now the third approach is for you to go over to each paragraph and understand what that paragraph is all about that means you pick a paragraph Try to know the topic sentence of the paragraph. The topic sentence holds the main idea of that paragraph. This is to narrow down your answer uh, search easily to a particular area within the text. So when you are able to fish out the topic sentence, then you give that paragraph a heading of its own. You have to do the same as well to other paragraph within a few minutes, then before going over to the question. And when you go over to the question, you are going to underline keywords. And those keywords on the line, you can easily scan for these keywords within the paragraph. Because by that time, you have already got an idea of the, the, the title of each paragraph. So when, it, when you see the question and underline the keywords in them, you should be able to know where these keywords fall in within the paragraph through your scanning techniques. So here, you are going to read each paragraph. Give it a title, give it a meaning. Try to understand the topic the center of that paragraph. Then go over to the question, scan for it, then pick for the keyword, use the keyword also to, to search for your specific answer within this paragraph. So here you also going to read less within the time given. So the three approach, the first one, the second one, you should be able to go to three of them, know the one that works best for you, but most importantly, take time into consideration. Because no matter how good you are, if you are not time conscious 
But if you don't, you don't have a good time management, definitely it's going to be a challenge on the written exam. So take care, take notes of this.